Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I got my braids on. You know what that means. Teacher hiding Stella. I'm riding Stella. I'm brave, though. I got this. Sophie can do it. I can do it. And I'm not even going to use a lunge line. I'm just going to get on there and I'm going to ride like the wind. He agrees. You're going to ride the small arena, though. Yeah, I'm going to ride in the small arena. I'm not riding in the spooky part of the arena. Like, you think I'm crazy? Yeah, uh, spooky. Levi. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Levi has been a love in his tree. I gotta tell you guys that <laughs> apparently this is a game. <laughs> he wants to do everything we do. He copies us like crazy. Anyway, he's loving his little tree. There's a bunch of wood outside. I'm gonna get Sam to help me and we're gonna make this thing cool. It's funny because the girls love Levi so much that when they wake up in the morning, they run downstairs and they get him out of his cage, which is amazing because birds are tricky and not all kids. I think some kids would be afraid of Levi. He's a bit fast moving, he's a forward moving bird, that's for sure. Hello guys, my hair's in a braid. I have tried Stella again. Um, and we're going on a walk. And we are going on a walk. There's nothing like a freezing cold walk to make you excited to come home, sit down, and get to work on homeschool. All right, you guys, I had tomato soup and a grilled cheese sandwich and some sugar, sugar snap peas. Some snap peas, these are my favorite. I shared some with Levi. I have really bad news. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? No. Okay. Not having lessons. Yeah, we're not having lessons. I didn't tell you guys, but our trainer um, fell doing something with hay and twisted her ankle, and it's really badly sprained, and so she had to cancel today. So we're unexpectedly not having our lesson, 
and I just feel lost. I feel like so lost because I feel like since we moved, we've needed the most help that we've ever needed with our horses. And even though, and she can't be there every single second because she's had to move her horses and she's had like a crazy last two weeks. You guys know her horse had colic. She had to move and now she has a sprained ankle. So it's not her fault. Um, and I get that, but I feel like I, we're at a point where we need more than one person can help us with. So. I think it's time you guys. I think it's time to add another trainer to our group of trainers. What do you think, Soph? You wanna add another group of tra another trainer? No. No, they don't want anybody but Fiona. I don't want anybody but Fiona, but we need to have somebody um, whenever we need them. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna ask and see what I can find out. But yeah, like my heart feels sick even thinking about it, but we need help. Like we need help we we can't like we're gonna take a break from our horses today because um other than um lunging stella a storm like i don't know like we just we just need more help and we i don't know i'm just feeling so frustrated like if the horses were in our own property we would have we would be able to do spend all day trying to fix them it would be our biggest priority but because they're not with us we're so limited in what we can do and yeah so we're gonna have to get more help i think it could be a positive thing though but yeah I, oh i hate feeling this so frustrated i know a lot of you guys are going through harder times than just having a little bit of trouble with your horses but yeah we're gonna take a break we're gonna go back first thing in the morning and the thing that makes the, is the hardest for me for taking a break is that Storm especially lives to see Gabby. Like he lives for her to show up. So like us not going makes my, like I just really feel it in my heart. Like she's about to cry. Yeah, I feel so sad when we don't go. We are gonna go on Saturday though. So we'll still have been there five days this week. Mail call. Here's Sophie and Stella. Ah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's hard to get a good picture of it because it's glossy. Oh, it's adorable. I love it and I love your jacket. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. Where are these from? You got her barking. Yeah, so you guys are so creative. JD. JD? Oh, look it. Let, let's see. She's from Saskatchewan. I love that paper. We have paper just like that. Oh yeah, that horse paper. Yeah, I do that. Her horse's name is Jagger, and he's a paint. She barrel races with him. Um, she's 17 years old. And she's an artist. So she is also at Gem Dot Photography. I'm gonna look that up. Um, she does a lot of rodeo photography, and I drew these for Gabby and Sophie. I hope you like them. Okay. She says she messed up on Gabby's face, but we didn't even notice. Oh, and this girl's also sent us half chaps and breeches before. Do you guys remember their blue half chaps? Oh, red breeches? No, the breeches. Um, tan one they off. still, no, they still wear those breeches that she sent. I uh, wish you all the best at your new barn. And uh, JD, actually, I remember your name. It always amazes me when somebody watches her channel for such a long time. That's been a long time since she sent that package. So thank you so much for that. That means a lot. And the pictures are gorgeous. And you are 17 doing your own photography business. Thumbs up to you. A pink lead up for me. And a blue lead up for Gabby. They are cool. So this is from somebody that lives in Guelph, Ontario. And she wishes she could meet us. Uh, she loves our horses and she wishes she had one. You guys are so good at riding. Oh, her name is Elaine and she's 12 years old. Gabby's looking them all up. She's like, I'm going to look them all up. Follow them, Gabby. Um, I, her name is E-L-A, yeah, Elaine. And she's 12 years old. I think I have it because, yeah. Um, and could she, um, so her Instagram is life underscore o ninety three life underscore no o ninety three. Her name is Elaine, and she sent us lead ropes for our Schleich horses. Thank, Thank you, Elaine. Yeah, like this is cool because it's actually like a real lead rope. Yes, they're nice. It is a 
Hi everybody, my name is Anna and I live on Ash Farm and I really want to meet you. I'm getting up oh. and I am nine years old. I'm turning nine years old in two days. Yeah, so so Anna's turning nine and Sophie's turning nine in two more days. Thanks, Anna. No, the drawing's amazing. Let's see. I like this person. Aw, sorry the drawing no, is bad. I kind of messed up, sorry. But no, it's beautiful. Aw. Aren't from the same person. This is the Stella that we are gonna have, right? This is the Stella that we're gonna have when she gets skinny. Beautiful. And then there's Storm. And there's Storm, handsome Storm. These pictures are from CJ. She is 11 and she is from London, Ontario. <laughs> Thanks, CJ. So, CJ asked a question, and she said, What are each of your favorite, what are three of your favorite horse breeds? Um, quarter horse, thoroughbred, and um, warm blood. Mine is quarter horse, paint, and Warm blood. Uh, Sabrina was warm blood, but you know, it's funny how your favorite breeds of horses are based on the kind of horses that you know. Um, never before have I ever been interested in a quarter horse ever until I met Storm and I saw how their personality is and how he just is a bonding, um, how he bonded with Gabby is just amazing to me. And so now quarter horses are probably one of my favorite horse breeds of all time. Um, I also love paints and gypsy banners, anything that looks all pretty like that. I've also read that paints are very similar in personality to quarter horses, so um, I like those. And and I like warm bloods as well. Um, I think warm bloods are one of my favorite. Christmas trees I want. Yeah, we need a new Christmas tree. This is a cute little baby one. Could you guys imagine a Christmas trees with I Levi? Want a white one. I want like, tree. Yeah, that's adorable. Um, I want like that, like that one. I need that one. That yeah. one on the end. Yeah. But thicker, like that one. But white. For your I room? Need, I want a white one. For your room? What? Or for us? For us. Okay, so Gabby white needs us to bed. have a white tree. Not gonna happen. But this tall. And thick but thicker. She has um, expensive taste, Gabby. But don't all girls have expensive taste? Anyway, we're at Michael's because somebody's having a birthday party. Her birthday's on Saturday. Her party is next Saturday. And boy, do we have um, a surprise for you for her birthday. But you guys can't guess what we're doing for her birthday party. Um, comment below if you have a guess though. Oh, but yeah, we're here to get some stuff for her birthday party. Angel Gabby, I'm gonna take a picture of that. Oh my gosh. Anyone want a donut? Mm -hmm. That's the kind of donut we need. Eat it. This is the kind of donut that doesn't go straight Eat. to your hips. Eat it. Hey, Rock. Yeah, straight that's a cute little barn. Christmas decoration. You go into the, the Christmas barn. barn. Usually the girls and Sam go off on their own, and I was like, let's stay together. Now I'm thinking I wish they went off on their own. It's a dunce cap. I'm an elf. I'm an elf. My hat will not stay on. My head is too big. Tonight's bath night, we're gonna wash that crazy hair. Last year we went like with pinks and, and did we go with pinks? I don't know, last year we had like, um, hmm. kind of more fun Christmas colors this year. Now that the girls are getting older, I wanna go back to like classic colors. Like I want golds and silvers again. Plain and classic versus super colorful. Like this, I like this right here. These, these are so perfect. But I kind of like these too. And these. And these. I don't know, I'm so indecisive. Oh, look at these elves, you guys don't know, but we had an elf on the shelf since my boys were little. It looked just, then he looks just like this. I wish we could get a new elf, like a pink one, a girly one. Maybe Santa will bring us a new elf this year. Wouldn't that be so cool? That's a boy, I want a girl. Oh no, that's a girl. I love her. I don't want to go to sleep. Cause this is something that I want to keep. We will never. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.